this is going to be the best passing concept in Madden 24 because it was the best passing concept in Madden 23. And if you can master this one passing concept, it will take your Madden game to the next level. It will make you a better passer. It is truly, I think, the foundation of any good passing game in Madden every year. And we're going to show it to you today out of the trip side information. And I actually have a free ebook, completely free of charge, that will teach you the five foundational passing concepts in Madden in detail and show you how over the last 10 years, pretty much anyone that has won any money playing Madden has utilized these five foundational passing concepts in their offense. If you want to get that ebook completely for free, all you have to do is click the link down in the description and you'll be able to get it and it will instantly be yours and you can go through the entire ebook. So if you want to do that, the link is down below. But I did want to talk about this concept today. This is um, a really valuable concept because it consistently beats man, zone, and match every single year. Every single year, it will beat those three coverage shells, which are the foundation of defense. And so it gives you an automatic money play regardless of what year of man you're playing. Now, you don't really need anything to run this play. In fact, you can run it out of the play PA counter go, and you can literally hot route the entire play, and you can turn it into what you want to do. What we're going to also show it to you out of is a play known as inside cross out of trips tight end. Now, this is in the Detroit Lions playbook. You can also run a play. It's called Pats Y-N, and it is in the uh, New England Patriots playbook. So you can run either of these versions. The only reason we're really calling this play is because it has a, a skinny post to the left side, okay? Uh, one other little thing, just to mess around a little bit, is you could also utilize drive post or the play curl flat if you wanted to run it a little bit of a different way. Okay, but you can literally do the entire play with um, hot routes. And if you have a hot route master or slot apprentice, tight end apprentice, it's gonna make it even better, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do it just like that, okay? Um, so P counter goes what we're gonna do, and we're gonna show you how to do it out of hot routes. So what we're gonna do with this play, the idea is we are going to run what is known as a shallow cross concept. Now in Madden, a lot of people refer to this as the slant post concept, but in the air raid, this is actually known as the shallow cross, and it is a, it's a man-to-man -man killer. And the reason why is because the general principle for beating man-to-man -man coverage, this cross applies to no matter what division of football you're playing, is to run against man and sit against zone. So for example, if I'm playing man-to-man -man coverage, I wanna run my receivers open to get them open. So the best way to do that would be to utilize some type of crossing route or some type of in routes or slants. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to slant route the um, inside trips receiver. Then if you don't have tight end apprentice, just put your tight end on a smart routed in route and that will get him to depth. Ideally, you want that route to cut at about 10 yards. Um, and then again, if a drag route, you can also run a drag route. The basic concept was actually designed to be a drag, um, even shallower than a drag route. But you can get by with a slant, and the slant's a little better in Madden for beating man. Okay? Then what you can do here is on this left side, you can run this fade route if you want to run the fade route. And then this guy is kind of a versatile weapon. You can either put him on a flat. You can really do whatever you want with this receiver. Um, you can put him on a flat route. This will make it really good against cover two. Another thing that I like to do is I'll motion him over and then I will put him on some type of deep zone. All right. So um, as you can see right here, this slant is typically going to be one of those routes typically will beat man, or these deep streaks will beat man over the top, especially press man and Madden 23. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is you can leave this dig route, and this is where I would definitely run a shallow cross or a drag or an in or something like this, because what you'll see is the depth. This will significantly help the spacing of the play, and you'll notice that this dig is able to beat man to man. So this, there's a lot of variation to this that you can do. Another really cool feature, um, this is a little bit more of a hot route master type of setup, but this is actually a really good setup. We're gonna post our, our solo, or our, our, our trips receiver. We're gonna run the same concept here underneath, but then on this left side, um, you're gonna run a C route. So something like this, or you could flip it and do it like this. Either way is gonna work, but the beauty is all four routes are gonna run themselves typically open against man-to-man, -man, 
So you see how good this is against man to man. But what makes it one of the most versatile concepts in a game is what it can do against zone. Okay, this can beat any zone coverage in the game consistently. And the reason is because the spacing is really good, especially from trips. And as you can see, this tight end route will consistently get over the top of a curl flat or a cloud flat zone. So like, let's say for example, you know, I'm running cover four drop and I've got cloud flats. Because I utilize this flat route on the left, it creates a natural high low as well. So I've got that flat route. So if they cover the tight end, I can just check it down to the flat and take my five to 10 yards um, over the field just like that. Now, the other thing that makes this really good is typically you can only run one, two flats at the most. So let's say that they double flat the left side. So the way that would look would be we would flat both players here on the left. I'm gonna man this guy up on that post route just to make it a little bit better coverage. Um, and then from there, you know, they're gonna be in the middle of the field and then maybe they roll the coverage. This is pretty common to do something like this. And then let's just put this guy in half just to make it better. And then this guy is gonna be typically in a hard flat Okay, and then now you've got, you know, this is a pretty solid coverage. The one challenge is what the flat route will do, and this is why it's really good from trip side in. The flat route will space the, the flats out, it'll pull them out, and it allows you to throw these interior routes, like the slant route and the post route over the middle of the field. Now, the way that this manipulates match coverage is it really out leverages match coverage, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what you'll see right here is you see how the tight end just gets completely wide open. And the reason why is because the deep quarter zones, they can't determine, should I take the slant? Should I take the should I take the dig? And it's just that simple. And as you'll see right here, this will just happen again and again and again. And that tight end will always be open. Now, what if the user says, okay, well, I'm going to take away that tight end. So if the user says, okay, I'm going to take away the tight end. Nobody's going to guard the tight end, okay? I'm taking the tight end. You guys handle the slant route. Then what's gonna happen is there's this little void late where you can throw this slant on the sideline and possession catch it. So in theory, the best way to defend this is to use the post and try to guard the slant. But because you can run the slant at, at like literally uh, five or six different depths, you can run a smart or an in route just like that and get him over the, over the middle. You can run a hitch and playmaker it. You can slant him. You can do literally all kinds of stuff to be able to get this open. The benefit of this is it's going to change the depth so the zones can't just say, well, we're gonna put our hooks at five. Well, it's not gonna work because I can still throw that right at a hook curl or right at a vert hook. And the reason why is because of the fact that this tight end goes deep. Now, what if they said, well, we're gonna shade our coverage down and we're gonna take that away. So we're gonna use a shade down vertical hard flat. Then what's going to happen is this slant, when he gets over here, you can throw it with a pass lead up, and as you can see, it'll get over the top of a hard flat. So there's a lot of adjusting they have to do to even slow this down. And then when you start mixing up who is on what, another thing I really like to do is basically this, where I'm going to streak. It, it, you can do it at a drive post or curl flat. Um, but basically what you're going to do is now, and is now you're going to say, okay, we're going to use a C route there. And then on the right side, we're going to use a streak route or a corner route. You can, either one will work. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to motion this guy across and you're going to put him on a slant. And now you're inverting what you're doing. And as you're going to see, it's going to be really good at beating man to man. It's one of the best concepts in Madden every single year. You need to add this to your offense. Thanks for watching the video. To get better at the game, get the full ebook, get all that stuff, be a Patreon member. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.